Whee! <laughs> oh my god. So fast! This isn't good. Well, holy crap, that was abrupt, wasn't it? Welcome back to Planet Crafter, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, is it good to be back, and today we're on a whole new planet that we get to explore. Now, I want to thank Miju Games for sponsoring this first episode of Planet Humble DLC. If, while you're watching, you want to learn more about this DLC, I'll have a link at the top of the video's description where you can learn more or purchase. If you don't know what Planet Crafter is, it is a terraforming survival game. It was extremely successful on my channel, and I'm so excited to be back into this one because it truly was a fantastic experience. So yeah, we're starting off fresh on a whole new planet. This is called Planet Humble. Hopefully it is humble out here. I uh, doubt it is going to be, though. And uh, yeah, today we just have to survive out here. Uh, I have to learn how to play again. It's been so long since I last played, but uh, I mean, it's a pretty easy game to understand. Collect resources, gain energy, use that energy to upgrade yourself. Ooh, dolomite. That's exciting. I don't know what dolomite is, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab everything that I can. And yeah, obviously the major goal is to terraform this planet. My oxygen is low. That, 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 that's a little bit of a problem. Okay, so goal right now, T1 backpack. I actually don't have much space, so I need one more iron for that. Where is an iron? That looks like iron. That's, that's just rock. Uh, there we go. How convenient. And voila. I have more storage space, which I, I definitely need. Next up, microchip construction. Uh, I think we install that into ourselves, right? It's been so long since I last played, but yes, now I should be able to construct. Please ignore any previous attempts to terraform the planet. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the process of terraforming this world. You would need to generate O2, oxygen, heat, and pressure. First, reach 175,000 TI and create a blue atmosphere. Isn't it already blue? Ah. Uh, just went in for a second, and the planet turned green. Not really sure what that means. Oh, God. What? Already? I'm already having weather events? Dude, I, I'm, I've been here for two minutes. Okay, so I guess we just gotta focus on what we gotta do. We need an ore crusher right now. This is a new thing. This is cool. So I need dolomite and magnesium and iron for that. All right, I guess we're going out right now so we can find this stuff. Okay, and that is everything. Oxygen level low. I guess we'll get back to my little pod. As you can see, it's nice and calm again. So it seems like weather's a little insane on this planet. That's going to be fun to deal with. Uh, so ore crusher. Break certain ores to extract multiple other ores from it. All right, do I have to put this on top of something? No, I doubt it because I can place it anywhere. Oh, actually, hold on. No, I'm assuming that's blocking it because it's too close to that. All right, well, I don't know how my base is going to look right now, so very much we're going to build temp right now, because uh, if you haven't played Planet Crafter before, truly exploring is the coolest part of this game. Uh, the developers, I believe it's a, it's a couple, by the way, uh, husband and wife team, just have designed such a fantastic world, at least their original world. So yeah, I'm super excited to check out this one. Hi, I did, what the hell did I just press? Stop that. All right, so what do we got here? Insert ores here to break them apart. Uh, collect your mind ores from here. Okay, so interesting. So what, hmm, how does this work? Oxygen level critical. Okay, I should worry about that. Uh, I don't have any energy probably, so we got, we have, we're gonna have to get energy next. All right, so we'll get to the drill. Uh, obviously we're having oxygen problems, so I need a T1 oxygen tank. Uh, that would be this. Cobalt and iron and magnesium we need for that. These are basic resources. We should be able to find them pretty quickly here. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Cobalt. I need uh, one more of those. How convenient. Thank you very much. Guess I'll grab some of this here. Inventory is full. Oh, you know what? This is from the meteorites because this is just resources that have made it to the ground. They're a bit glitched out here, as you can see, but that's why I automatically extracted them. So yeah, if you don't know, the weather storms actually drop resources in this game, uh, which is really cool. What isn't cool is I'm already lost. I don't want to go too far away from my place. Oh, great. Oxygen's critical. I didn't bring oxygen with me. Everything looks the same. Why does everything look the same? Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. Oh, getting kind of woozy. <laughs> God damn it. This is why I shouldn't explore until I get a beacon, damn it. All right. Well, I have a dead body somewhere out there. And it looks like I lose. Yeah, I'm playing normal mode. So I lose uh, like 80% of my inventory or something like that. So that sucks. I'm back down to one cobalt. Well, don't want to know what that is. Uh, seems like my neighbors are... I don't know, angry or something? Is that lava? Like, what the hell? I'm, I'm literally right here. I, I see a beam. There's an actual beam. All right, we're going to need some power here. I'm going to need to start extracting, so that's what I'm going to do next because I need to find ice for, uh, for water. I'm actually out of water already. The game only gave me one, so that's kind of insane. 
Uh, so this should be... Okay, we've actually started to... It says number of items extracted, three. All right, this thing's actually gaining almost no energy right now. Obviously, there's no wind or that thing would be spinning. So that's probably why we still don't have enough energy, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. We got three. Now it's moving. And there we go. So now we have enough power. So obviously, once you uh, collect enough power, just automatically use the said power. And now we are extracting these resources out of said resources. Okay, that has been dealt with. Next up, I got I got to figure out water because, yeah, I need ice for water. Um, obviously, I can find ice out here, but I don't know where. So we're going to try. Is that ice right there? Oh, my God. If that's ice, I'm so lucky. That's dolomite. It kind of looks like ice. Um, usually it's in caves in this game, which makes sense, obviously. Um, it's colder in there generally. Maybe I can find some in one of these chests, though. Come on, give me some ice. I mean, I'll take some cobalt, some aluminum. Those seeds are always nice. I'm gonna keep the rest of this here because I don't have a lot of inventory space. All right, that should be magnesium. That's what I need. So now I should have more oxygen so I don't have to freak out about dying all the time because having 100 oxygen is definitely not enough. All right, so T1 oxygen tank. Thank you very much. Install that onto the old uh, body here. And what are we at now? 145. So big improvement there. And my first little bit of resources coming out. Unfortunately, not ice. I'm really hoping we can find some ice in this stuff. Oh, I found a water bottle. Nice. Okay, so that works as well. We got our first iridium as well. Now I just got to get back to my base. I believe I see it. Again, I really don't want to lose my base again, especially with all these resources. And I guess we're relying on supply crates right now for ice. Okay, got enough to build my first temporary living compartment. This should be a way for me to hopefully store some items because that would be great. Uh, how am I going to... Why do I... Okay, so it has to be off the ground. That's right. I think I'm just... Again, this is very much temporary. I'm just going to put a base right here. Something small and simple. Okay, and we got our first actual living compartment. So this will obviously gain oxygen as well. I got to figure out, how do I get a storage? Okay, perfect. Uh, medium storage containers are iron. Of course, I'm having troubles finding iron right now, but that's fine. We'll definitely get that going. I've already added uh, two more windmills, so I think we should be okay for power. And I'm actually curious, is this thing done yet? Oh my God, it's slow. Um, I've only put in like good items that I want to see if they duplicate. Or I'm just wondering if extraction is randomized. Like, am I going to get random items in here? So I should only see aluminum, uranium, and iridium in this. And hopefully I can make one for things like iron, basic resources as well. So yeah, we'll get uh, a small team of these going on. All right. And unfortunately, that stopped everything. So that tells me I actually don't have enough power with five of these. Uh, so we're going to make one more. And we are moving again. All right, we need the uh, deconstruction tool, uh, silicone and magnesium for that. That will also allow me to deconstruct all these um, chests around. I believe I get one iron for those, so that would actually be nice right now. All right, hopefully I have enough spots for that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've maxed out my suit now, so I guess we're not going to do any more. But now, yes, I have the deconstruct option, and now I can easily see if I've used those or not. And yeah, I get one iron for those. Nice. All right, I've been collecting titanium for the drills. I think it's finally time. How much energy does these use? 0 0.5 a second, so that's not bad. Uh, where do I want to put these drills? I think we'll just put them anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Now, if you don't know, these are extracting gases out of the ground. Or, ge sorry, generates pressure. And that's going to help with the terraformation index. We are finally going up now. We're at 3 TI, baby. And many, many more to get after that. All right, we'll build some screens. We got the terraformation screen. So, oh, damn it. <laughs> Just adding a screen and it turns off my whole power. Okay, we're going to have so many of these basic wind turbines because that's all I can really use right now for energy. All right, that actually doesn't help me too much. I'm just kind of following the quest line. That's just going to give me a quick glance at the pressure, heat, as well as terraformation. What I want is blueprints right now. I think I'm pretty much out of iron, aren't I? So, yeah, we got to go wait for some more iron uh, or go mine some. I guess I can go find some here. New blueprint received. T2 oxygen tank. Woohoo! All right, so that was my first blueprint unlock. So yeah, the more you terraform, I believe, the more blueprints you get, if I remember correctly. But uh, I should actually be able to blue build the blueprint screen now so we can find out if that's the case or not. Oh, this is one of the ones that attaches to the uh, tables. Damn it. Can I put it? No, of course I can't. Can I put it on top? Oh, okay. That's pretty ghetto, but whatever. All right, and this is what makes this game so damn cool is the amount of upgrades is actually insane. So as you can see, I'm still going through terraformation upgrades. 
that is insane now there's oxygen upgrades there's heat upgrades there's pressure upgrades and we need all of these to obviously be successful so we do got to start working on heat as well as oxygen generation uh so we need the t1 heater and t1 veg tube so we'll get a bunch of t1 stuff out right now obviously and yeah we'll work our way from there so next up iridium i've been extracting that these things are so slow man this is actually insane so yeah, it's, uh, it, it does an item every 150 seconds. It feels like it's even longer than that, I swear. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to go out exploring even with my limited oxygen right now. All right, T2 craft station coming up next. We're going to put that in my little uh, thing so I can hopefully build. I believe I unlocked the other oxygen tank if I remember correctly. We'll just put that there like that for right now. And yeah, we got the tier two. So I just need silicone for that as well as my tier one one. All right, so there we go. We got the T2 already, and that should be another major upgrade. What are we at now? 200. So we've doubled our yield from the start. Now I really want to see if I can reach this other biome over here, because uh, I would like to explore that if possible. It turns kind of red once I get too far over here. At least it was red before. I don't think it's going to turn now. All right, but there's these chests I haven't been able to reach. I just want to see. I saw a structure. Yeah, that structure right over there. That's cool looking. Let's go over. Do I got time? I didn't bring oxygen with me, so we're going to have to rush. All right, so we got to act quick. I can't stay here for too long. What are the hell are these? Explosives? Fabric? Uh, eggplant seeds. Those are useful. Water bottle will take. Uh, nothing else of interest there. Okay, lots of explosives here. So if we need those for whatever reason, we got those. Uh, this is just all dolomite. I want to see if it was ice. Yeah, that's all dolomite. It does look like I can use this. Terraforming task. Carefully manipulate explosive devices in order to extract rare materials. Everything is going well. I don't think it went well, dude. All right, we got some sort of blueprint microchip in here. Uh, use this to unlock blueprint screen. To unlock a new blueprint. All right, so I remember that. Um, can I extract this somehow? We got explosives over here. All right, we'll come back. I, I need to get back before I die. Okay, so now we can decode that blueprint. And that unlocked agility boots. How exciting. How do I build those? Probably in here, right? Yeah, so we can now make agility boots if we find one more fabric. Okay, at least we got that fabric, so we might actually be able to get those. Yes! I found ice! I knew it! There was a white biome over here. I, th I, th I thought I would go over. You know what? I should probably grab that. Eh, I don't like it. So yeah, I need ice for, obviously, water as well as uh, I need it to make food, I believe. So I'm so glad I found this. I need to get back. Well, actually, we're doing okay, so... See if I can get a little bit more in this little snow biome as we're here. All right, so now that we got that ice, I can now make T1 veg tubes. Do these go? Yeah, they go inside of a base. So we're going to have to expand out this base probably now. Add another living compartment here. And we'll just... It's going to be messy in here at the start. Obviously, I can't make it all fancy-like because, well, I just don't got the time. Uh, out of power again. So, you know, the drill. Okay, and we are back in business. Uh, can we do the T1 heater as well? No, because I'm doing iridium. And I still, I don't think I've mined anything. I did go out. Maybe I've mined something by now. No, I don't know what is going on with these things, but they take forever. It says break certain ores. I'm wondering if I just don't have the correct ore in here. So it might be like things like I don't, that I don't want, like magnesium and silicon. So I'm going to put them back in and see what happens here. That's a bit of a bummer if it's not any of the good resources because I spent a lot of money on these. Yeah, this one only has iron in it and it hasn't made any iron yet. Okay, now that I put other items in here, yeah, cobalt and magnesium immediately came out. And why wouldn't it say what items it would make, though? That's so weird to me. Um, yeah, as you can see, these other ones are not being made. So iron cannot be made in here. It looks like maybe it's only cobalt and magnesium. I'll test other products, obviously, but... I think I'm going to have to go find the hard resources, so I guess I shouldn't have went so hard into those things. All right, time for our Tier 2 backpack, so we can hopefully get exploring soon, finally. Because, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a grind. But, yeah, we got Tier 2 at least now. Almost forgot to fill my veg tube with a plant. I think 350 is my best one, uh, which is these guys. So, obviously, the higher the multiplier, the better uh, this thing's going to work. So yeah, we'll use the uh, Fertios for now. Uh, and I guess we'll use my one Iridium that I have to build my T1 heater. So at least we're getting all the base resources starting to be built up. Uh, but yeah, we need this in here to actually start building oxygen. And now, as you can see, oxygen is very slowly going up. Okay, next up, heat. Okay, and we are officially terraforming this planet in every single way. Now, mind you, it would take about a century to actually terraform this with this T1 stuff, so it's not like it's going to help too much, because, yeah, this whole time I have built 
561 TIs, and I need 175,000 for the next stage of the game. <laughs> All right, and the next uh, thing that I need to do is locks behind heat. So we need uh, two NK. What's NK? Oh, that's the next stage of heat, I'm assuming, after a thousand. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're not going to get that progress one done anytime soon. So I guess, well, not bad for one day. We did all this. I think it's only been one day. I mean, it's night out right now, obviously. So yeah, feels pretty good. Now I'm going to have to explore my localized area and uh, see what we can collect. All right, so thanks to the ice that we found, I can now explore. Uh, ooh, T1 solar panels. Okay, good. We can get out of wind power now and go into uh, solar panels as well. But I have a basic uh, survival system here. I have one of everything that I need. So I can now at least explore without worrying too much. I want to go back to this base. We may as well uh, try and grab this. As we go, see if there's anything good in there. All right. Well, a bunch of good resources. Of course, I used all my space. But yeah, I want to take some time here to see what else we can find. Because I got all these explosives, but I don't really want them until I know what to use them for. Use it to blow up objects. So I wonder... You know what? I wonder. Let's just try something. It just says right-click to use, I believe. Yeah, right-click to use. Is that working? Okay, trigger. There we go. Okay, please tell me this explodes and I loot things. That would be so freaking cool. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> All right, so finding target, approaching target, placing explosive device, moving away from target, device can't complete. Activating explosive device. So they couldn't move away. Let's look at the situation here. We did see all these here. So I'm wondering if I can maybe put a charge down there. I don't want to waste all these charges, but this is obviously a puzzle of some sort. There's a stockpile here. This gotta be it, man. Come on. Please? Why why did the other one count down from nine? That one count down for five. You're trying to kill me, aren't you? <laughs> okay, I thought that message went up at the perfect time. Damn you. And now we're gonna have to go back. All right, so because travel times are so aggressive, we're gonna make temporary oxygen bases. It just makes more sense than building oxygen capsules when you can actually disassemble these and get, I think, 100% of your ingredients back. Maybe it's only 50%, but they're super easy to make. So back over here, uh, I wanna explore obviously deeper down there as well. I can just simply build one of these, put it over here, add a door to it, and at least now I have oxygen. I can obviously, uh, I can obviously furnish that as well if I do need more. It looks like there's a trail of dolomite here, so I'm just gonna follow this. And I gotta find a cave. What I really need is, is iridium right now. We need to be heating this planet. I have no access to that right now. The only one I found was in a chest. So I'm hoping up there where there's heat, uh, we might be able to find some there. Oh, well, we found some here too. Nice and space food. Exactly what I needed. Look at this, though. This is such a beautiful game, man. I'm so happy I'm back in this. I have no idea what this poisonous zone is, but I'm assuming it's poison, so we're not going to get too close. Lots of dolomite here. It's too much dolomite. Uh, let's just go grab this, I guess. And we got to worry about getting back. We're pretty far. And we got a full inventory anyway, so we'll be back to this. Whatever the hell this is. I still have, still have to go up there. <laughs> There's so much to do. Okay, so that has given us our second heater. Thankfully, we still have enough power. So we got two of those, two of those. We got four mining rigs. I mean, we're doing okay for T1. We got to get, we got to unlock that T2 though. I got to go back and get gas. Sorry, not gas. Ice right now. Oh, I think I finally found a cave. Okay, nice. Ah, uh, yes. The ice has led me to a cave. Can I actually, hold on. Nope, don't have any titanium right now. Actually, hold on. Maybe I can, maybe I can. I don't want to go home right now. I need titanium and silicon. Uh, silicon and one more titanium. Titanium is easy to find. There it is right there. Okay. Build myself a little oxygen container by this. So I can get that. Now we don't need to go home right away and I can explore this. Mind you, I do have not much inventory. I just unlocked the tier three uh, backpack. So I definitely want to get that. Uh, just unlocked tier two drill. Yay. Oh, the caves are so cool in this game, though. It looks like this one has been melted out. A lot of the caves in the original planet, you had to, like, heat up the planet before you could even explore because you needed to melt the ice. This one looks pretty normal to me. Wow. Oh, no. We got <laughs> we to gotta melt this lake so I can get down to whatever resource that is. Can I grab any of them? Oh, I don't even know. Okay, more iridium. Nice. 
I'm just going to grab all the iridium. I'll take that water as well. Thank you very much. Does this keep going? This is what I'm talking about. This is why I love this game, man. Exploring is just so fun. Oh, I, I, I got to turn around soon here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get lost. This is a huge cave, though. So we'll come back later. Hey, is it glowing? What? Hey, I saw that. Why the hell were you glowing? What the hell was that? Am I losing my mind? Because that was glowing friggin' red for a second there. What are you? What actually are you? I, I, I can't sit here and figure it out. I have to get back home. Ooh, T2 veggie tubes. Okay, wow, we are unlocking way too much. I can't keep up. So we're gonna have to go home for a bit and just unlock a bunch of these upgrades. All right, my hydro homies would be proud. We went hard on the water bottles, as you can see. We should be... Oh, maybe, I, maybe I made too many. Now what the hell am I gonna do with these things? Damn it! All right, next up we need magnesium for my exoskeleton upgrades. Thank you very much. So we'll grab that. Uh, that will allow me to get more capacity so I can hopefully get those agility boots. Oh, crap. Uh, I guess I got to take something off real quick so I can put that on. And there we go. Now we have a lot more room for activities on here. Sweet. Oh, good thing I didn't build my heaters yet. Tier 2 is here. What do I need for that, actually? Uh, same thing. 2 iridium. Perfect. I actually have enough uh, to do that one. So we'll do that one instead once we get back. I was just looking for some silicon. Got quite a bit of it, so we should be good to upgrade again. Okay, and let there be heat. We're actually doing great for heat, considering I haven't found a source of iridium yet. And power's off, so should have a bunch of iron right now. Back to building. Oh, actually, we got, uh, I remember now, we got the solar panels, which would be great to get rid of some of my cobalt, because I have so much of it. Also, having uh, a source of light-based power and wind power is probably a very smart idea. So let there... How much does this actually generate compared? Uh, 6.5 compared to 1.2. Yeah, we're back. We're, we are going for light now. Now, obviously, at nighttime, I don't think these things work. So you want a little bit of both. But that should be great. And I can actually do another one. Oh, my God. The dream. I'm going to have so much energy. Dude, I can do three? I mean, my base is ugly right now, but at least it's uh, it's pr it's been built very, very fast. So that's good. I don't think we have to worry about shade with these things. I hope not, because uh, I didn't really think about that until now. <laughs> All right, we also got T2 drills. I can get rid of some of my titanium now. So that is good, because I got a bit of that. I thought I had more than that, but I haven't been picking it up because I it's so easily to be obtained. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to the tier... Sorry, not tier one, tier two drills. Look at that big boy. There you go. You can join your little friends. And let's get another one down. Again, terraforming is what we're doing right now. And I want to speed up this as much as we can. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, what we should be doing now is maybe getting some more of the oxygen generators. Because I only have two of those. And we've unlocked tier two. I need ice for that, though. I did go collect ice. Do I have any left? <laughs> no, of course not. Actually, I think I put some in my storage over here. So I should be able to do one, I think. Yeah, I have two ice. And there we go. Now we're going to take one of these ones out because they're my best ones. Obviously, put that in the tier two. And we'll go grab... I think I have a 250 or 300% one over here. Yeah, 300% Celius. We'll throw that one in there as well. And now we're actually doing pretty good on the whole terraforming part, which is great because the faster we do that, the faster we get unlocked. But let's go collect now for a little bit because we are pretty much out of resources again, as you can see. I'm just going to grab some survival utilities. And I think I'm going to go back the other way because I want to go to that lava zone, see if there's actually uh, iridium there because uh, I don't have a easy way to get iridium yet. I've at least got ice now, so I know where that's from. Iridium's the only one that at least I've unlocked so far that I actually need that I don't know where to get from. Uh, so yeah, we'll go over to that lava zone, see what's there. And my progress screen finally unlocked, so once we get back, we'll be building that to see if there's any more first steps the game wants me to have. I don't think there is, though, so I think we got our basic base built. Okay, well, here we are. We got the poisonous zone, the, the laser thing up there, whatever the hell that is. This is just so cool, dude. I love exploring in this game. What is that? Like, what actually would that be? It's, it's got to be an alien spaceship, man. Uh, wow, this is further than I expected. All right, so we're pretty much there. I'm going to build again. Surprise, surprise. Another one of my fancy bases. Doesn't matter if it's floating or not. It's only here for oxygen. Okay, and let's get up here and see what we can find. Well, we got some loot. Grab that real quick and just delete that. I need iridium, though. I don't, I don't care about basic loot. Give me... Let, let me see some red things up here. What the hell is that? I mean, it's a red thing. I don't think it's the red thing I'm looking for, though. What is that? Why is it so round? 
Okay, what the hell are you? It's a freaking egg, man. Oh, what is this? Can be destroyed with ex explosives. Yes, we have figured it out. Okay, what the hell is in those though? I, I, I don't know if I want to explode that because I feel like it's an alien egg and it's going to eat me. Uh, but my assumption was correct. Obviously, where the lava is, the iridium is. Got to be careful here. There's uh, obviously giant holes everywhere. Uh, this makes me so happy, though. That means I'll be able to heat the planet as much as I want as long as I have this access. Uh, so I think that's enough for right now. We've gotten four. You know what? I, I want to get six so I can do three more of the tier twos. And yeah, we'll have to go get the explosives in, explode these egg things to see what's inside. Hopefully, I don't regret that decision. There's another one. What are these egg things? It's glowing, right? And then when I get close to it, it stops glowing. Why does it do that? What are they? I wonder if I can explode those. Okay, what I got to focus on right now is oxygen. I need the food grower because uh, I'm rapidly running out of meals. They gave me a bunch of MREs at the start of this. But let me just double check. I got one? Okay, I, I have one more. Oh my god. I actually need to use one though. Frick, man. We got to really do that quick. Or I'm going to have to go find more... Uh, of those food packages. Because, yeah, this is a problem. I, I need a freaking food grower. All right. So, with that in mind, we need ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Stupid. But, yeah, I do need the tier, tier two veggie tubes quite abruptly, too. So, we're going to have to get out there and uh, not waste any time. I'm not even going to build anything right now. I just need to get out. Go, go get some more ice. All right. Good thing uh, T3 oxygen tank just unlocked. That means uh, the grower is very close because that was the next unlock after this one. So... We should be okay, but I don't like how close I am with my food. So I'd like to grow some food as quickly as possible. Oh, <gasps> I got my beacon. That means I can have multiple bases really far away. That makes me really happy, actually. That's what I wanted at the start. Uh, so now I don't feel so bad building temporary bases everywhere and literally living at them. Because at least I can find my main base then. All right, I think that's enough ice. I've actually uh, extracted every piece that I could easily see. So that's a problem, but not a problem for... A long time. Okay, we got not one, but two more. And <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so ugly. But again, it's all temp. Uh, all right, we just need to go get some plants. I think I actually put two good ones in here. Sorry, that's not a very good one. Um, I should have something better than 200%, I'm assuming. But we'll put the 300% in. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's remember that I got my 350% in here. So we want those in a tier two, obviously. And then we'll put something else in the tier one. All right, T2 solar panel's been unlocked. Nice. Does look like my next best is actually 200%, so uh, I don't have any really good uh, flowers anymore. Hopefully, I can find some. I believe this is pretty bad, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 150. That's why I dropped it. Uh, no need for those. I got lots of 200%. All right, so now we're really focusing on oxygen production. That should be going up very, very quickly now. And yeah, I need 12 PPT uh to unlock the food grower we're at 6.91 right now and rapidly going up so i think we should be okay we don't have to worry about that oh yeah dope i found uh, another 350 oh my god what a find actually um what am i gonna put in here all right screw it i'll throw some ice in there i'll, I'll find it sooner or later i'll get the celius uh drop some iron off i'm gonna grab that water bottle i'm also seeing well that doesn't look like it's uh naturally formed is it we got another structure over there i haven't explored any of this area yet uh so that's exciting but obviously we got enough going on right now <laughs> let's just slow down a bit <laughs> I have about 10 to 15 things i want to do right now okay next up tier three oxygen tank uh what are we at 280 wow one from one uh sorry 200 to 280 that's an insane upgrade now i'd love to also Get an extra benefit by making those agility boots. Uh, I have the fabric now for that. And that's my first, like, random upgrade. So that's exciting. And we need two aluminum for that. I believe I had a crap load of aluminum in one of these. Well, I had three. But that is more than enough. We also have uranium in there. So that's the next thing I want to find. I'm thinking it's obviously going to be in that green zone. We're not at the uranium stage yet. So I'm not too worried about it. But we will get there soon. And there's my agility boots. Let's see how fast these bad boys are. Oh, wow. That's actually noticeably an improvement. Now, do I actually have... Nope, they're basic boots. That that That's kind of annoying. I was hoping to have giant mech legs, damn it. All right, let's also upgrade. I did get a new uh, plant. So I believe this is a 300%. We'll put a 350 in that. It is neat to see them slowly growing, too. It's so cool. 
All right, and we'll move this over to a 300% as well. All right, there we go. We got a double bed, baby. I don't need no beds in my life. I don't think you need to sleep in this game. T2 or Crusher. Is it any better than the T1 one? Because I hate this thing. Well, I need bauxite for that. No, no idea where that comes from. Oh, we did it. We got the food grower already. So I was just about to leave. Should I build that though and start growing food? That might be smart. All right, food grower. Throw that, I don't know, somewhere in here. <laughs> and we're out of power. I, I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. I was hoping it wouldn't happen right now, but of course it did. Uh, we got a tier two solar panel now. I guess we could get that. And um, I think I might be out of aluminum, actually. So I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Oh, no, we actually have aluminum. Okay, so what else do we need? Uh, iron, magnesium, and silicon. All right, welcome to Big Daddy. Look at the size difference of this sucker. Hopefully, we don't have to worry about power for a while. I don't even know how much this one yields. Don't care. 19.5. Nice. Okay, now I can put my eggplant in here. I have an eggplant somewhere. Where the hell did I put that? There it is. And I get free foodies. Yay. Chance to get seeds back 100%. So essentially, I can always make an eggplant in here now. Uh, so yeah, you don't need to rely on finding seeds, which is really nice. Okay, let's... What the hell? No, didn't mean to do that. Let's finally go out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go try and explode one of those egg things. Hopefully, I don't die after that. All right, well, here we are. Let's see what happens. Right click to use. Am I using it? Why can't I use it? Can be destroyed with explosives. I, I'm right clicking. Huh, what is going on? Do I need to attach it somehow? I just right clicked before and it blew up. Hold on, I'm gonna try this one over here. Maybe that one's glitched. Why is it not working? Hold on, I wonder, deconstruct explosive trigger. There we go. I don't know why that took so long. All right, please give me something good. What the hell is that? Iridium. Oh, okay. So it's just an access point for more iridium. Well, I was hoping for more than that, but it's really cool. It's like a geode of iridium. All right. Well, don't need more iridium. I actually have a bunch at home, so we'll worry about uh, that later. Do I have... I have water and oxygen right now. I'm going to go wander over here. This looks like magma. Oh, wow. I just found a really well-hidden cave. Okay, well, I, I know where that is. Obviously, it's pretty easy to find. Not really a focal point, though. And then we're in the uh, toxic area over here. Yeah, this is like magma, isn't it? It's so cool. All right, I was really hoping we can get that other resource over here. Don't know if that's going to be the case or not. I'm not seeing green anywhere. I think this is more sulfur-like than anything else. Ooh, let's see what's in there. All right, more fabric. I guess we'll collect it, but not really a point of interest right now. Uh, okay. Well, we got some man-made structures over there. I don't remember if there's fall damage in this game or not. I don't have time to be screwing around, so I need to go down to get back out of here. Yeah, okay. So, another man-made structure. Lots of those to explore now. What are these? Oh, it is sulfur. I called it. All right. Well, we'll collect some sulfur. We don't, we're not using that yet, but I'm assuming we will sooner or later. All right. And we'll grab this chest and get the hell out of here because I got to get back because I am all out of oxygen replenishation. All right. Let's finally get this progress screen up. Where would this... Holy crap. Is that... Oh, I, th I, th I thought it was bigger than that. Uh, I can't really fit this anywhere, can I? Can I put it on the roof? I'm so chaotic right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'll put it over here. <laughs> and yeah, that's just going to tell us what the percentage is to the next stage. So I'm 25% to the blue sky stage. Wow, we got a ways to go, don't we? All right, I'm going to put up my beacon as well. So that I can see from pretty much anywhere, I believe. Yeah, I get a nice blue little emblem now wherever I am, and I can see it. That is just makes me feel so much more safe here. Uh, next up, I'm going to spend some of this iridium that I have and hopefully uh, get a bunch of these on the ground. I am running out of aluminum, though, if not out right now, so I might need to go search for that. Yeah, I do. Okay, making my way over to this uh, structure that we saw earlier. There was uh, three chests here. Can't deconstruct. Um, oh, wow, nice. Uh, nope, no thank you. I'm just going to leave the rest of this here. need some silicon in my life, though. Uh, yeah, very curious what this is. What the heck? I wish I wasn't so dark out. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, we're going to build a structure here. Just as a temp base as I'm exploring this. And I don't, still don't have my... Frick, I should have built my torch. I have room now. Um, sorry, it's so dark. But there we go. We got eggplant seed. Good. We can get an extra one of those growing. Um, Maybe I should come back here during the daytime. I can't see a damn thing. What is that? Drill? Oh, delete. Deconstruct technical debris. 
Uh, tier 2 deconstruction ship required. You jerk. All right, this is a whole base. Look at this. This is cool. Uh, anything else here? Offline. Yeah, you don't say. All right, I'm, I'm, I may as well loot the dead guy. Why not? Uh, again, more fabric. I don't know if I need more, but sure. Yes, I finally got my locker storage too. Holy crap. All right, I don't need, a, I don't need more fabric. We'll grab that food though. And yeah, this was just a, like a makeshift base that has been here probably for a while. And it's just slowly being destroyed. Lots of loot here though. Uh, so we definitely will be back. Uh, cause yeah, this is fantastic. All right, guys. Well, we are 30% to the blue sky stage. Uh, we should be able to get to that in the next episode. Obviously this is incremental. So, uh, the more you play, the faster it gets. Uh, I think we did good today. I really wanted to expand out and focus on terraforming as quickly as possible. Even with the tier one stuff, it does go pretty quickly, as you can see, if you are focused on it. Uh, next episode, I would love to find an actual home base location. As I said, this is all temporary. Um, I would like to actually design a nice base. I'm thinking somewhere in the middle of the land would be great. I know there's a map uh, screen you can unlock. I don't have it unlocked yet, though, so I'd like to see kind of where this world goes. I feel like we're at the edge of the map, though, only because there's, like, nothing over here. So I'd like to move maybe from further in this way and keep somewhere in the middle. Obviously, high ground would be nice as well. But yeah, we'll worry about that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Please hit that like button if you guys would like to see more. Just so I know. Because, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of an older game. Uh, but I truly think it's one of the most fantastic little terraforming survival games out there. And yeah, I would love to get deeper into it. Uh, the developers are just really good at designing maps. And there's a bunch of secrets on the original game. So I'd like to go and explore and see what we can find out there. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.